won't find slow horses in cinemas, but it's absolutely cinematic. The new Apple original show brings Mick Herron's book to vivid life and delivers a British spy story, but with a twist. These are the screw-ups. They're about as far away from James Bond and Jason Bourne as you could imagine them to be. Screw-ups like River Cartwright, played by Jack Loudon, who gets sent to Slow House, where the agents are derogatorily referred to as slow horses. You know, they're dead weight. They're an embarrassment to the service. It doesn't sound that beguiling, but there is such charm and character and accessibility to these characters that these are the guys you really want to hang with. Characters such as Gary Oldman's Jackson Lamb, who oversees the misfit slow horses and enjoys pushing their buttons. I can imagine going down the list and thinking, yeah, give him, give, yeah, give him to me. I'll give him six months. He'll be gone. Yeah, she'll, she could, no, she won't last. Yeah, I can d drive her absolutely mad. I'll give that, you know, I'll give that six weeks. She'll be gone. I, I don't normally do these kind of speeches, but this feels like a big moment. Working with you has been the lowest point in a disappointing career. I'm going to break that ego. Piece by piece. I'm going to take you apart, boy. Right. Lamb's abusive approach is like another form of training or testing and reveals his character. You know, he's a guy who uses his own humour as a, a, a weapon to destabilise people that he is negotiating with. He doesn't need to turn up armed to the teeth uh, with some conventional sidearm. He can do it by just unsettling people who expect a certain way of behaviour, and then he meets them with something completely different. Kristen Scott Thomas plays Lamb's boss, Diana Tavener. Tension and humour go absolutely hand in hand because if you if you make somebody feel relaxed and you give them a laugh, then you really can astonish them with something else afterward. You can really, it's sort of almost hitting below the belt, really. Slow Horses is the first, but hopefully not the last, of Mick Herron's novels to be adapted to the small screen. Because once you meet these ragtag characters, you'll want to hang out with them a lot more. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.